Hey guys, welcome to reaction slash review of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Now, this is a new animated Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie that just dropped on Disney Plus recently. And honestly, I, I saw the trailers for it. I saw a ton of people talking about it and talking about the animation style. And honestly, I don't know. I mean, I do think that it is cool they're trying to replicate the style of the books. Because if you don't know, Diary of Wimpy Kid is, you know, a book series. And w by the way, which I have not read, I, I have not read Diary of Wimpy Kid. All I know is like some of the characters' names. Like I know... Greg Heffley is the main character. Then you got uh, Roderick, uh, and you also got Manny. Uh, that that's those are the only characters I know. I know Manny's the child, and then you know Roderick's the brother. But yeah, I think it is interesting that they are trying to copy the book style. I will say it, I don't think it translates as well to 3D. But I think they tried, and I think they did a decent job at it so far, looking into it. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, without further ado, let's just get right into it. When Mom went out to buy this thing, I specifically told her not to get a book that's a diary on it. But of course, she didn't listen. Oh, okay. I kind of like this intro, how it's like mimicking the style of the book. Like, it's literally the style of the book. Also, I think this literally is just a retelling of the first book in animated form. But luckily, I'm not alone in this middle school thing. My best friend, Rally. Ah, okay, so that's his name. His name is Rally. Yeah, I probably just angered a ton of people that I didn't know that name. It was just a week ago that me and Rally were actually looking forward to this. Heads up! Okay, kind of like that transition a little. There's still recess, right? I told you like a million times, Rally. Recess is an elementary school thing. Oh, but I like recess. Dude, ra Rally's a Chad. Everybody knows recess is the best class, 100%. But you're way better at writing than me. I can never do it as good as you. See, that's why that's why he's so good. That's why he's the best character. <laughs> oh, what's with what was that like with this model? That was like an A pose. Should we do that one over? Ugh. Slapstick, am I right? Was he wearing AirPods? <laughs> oh, Manny. Oh, interesting design there. That I don't think that translated that well to 3D at all, but, uh, you know, they tried, as I said. You weren't playing that game with Rowley, were you? You know you're banned from playing that. What? What's that? What's that game? Uh... Uh, Greg, can you please explain? I mean, I know what the game is. They obviously showcased it, but I'm only making the joke because I know there's a fan comic about Greg being gay for Rally. And honestly, it's one of the greatest comics ever. Whatever you do, don't get the cheese touch. Yo, we got some exposition about the cheese touch. Sadly, it isn't delivered by the same kid from like the actual like live action movies. I don't know his name, but yeah, it's disappointing. The only way to get rid of the cheese touch was to give it to someone else. Yeah, wait, this is just the same exposition scene from the the live action movie. Kid named Abe Hall moved to California. He took the cheese touch with him. Yeah, it's literally, that literally is the exact same scene from the live action movie. I only know it because I watched like a, a meme of the, the cheese touch scene or something. By the way, I guess I forgot to mention I also haven't really seen any of the films. I've only seen like a couple clips. Listen, I'm a fake, I'm a fake Diary of the Wimpy Kid fan. If you're mad at me for that, then that's fine. You can talk about that in the comments. I don't care. Greg, come on, man. Trust me. Cut him loose now. Or you both drown. Ah, conflict. We definitely need conflict, obviously. It wouldn't be a movie without conflict. The realization. He's in love. And the cheese! What's the cheese? Do the do the scene again. Do the scene again. You gotta do the scene again. You gotta let him know. Friends till the end. Wow, that felt slow for some odd reason. That felt like it was a little drawn out. That was close. Kindergarten down the street. I'm sorry, but the comments I've been making about the whole like fan 
fiction thing about them being in a relationship. What? It's kind of becoming real. Take a hike. Hey. Band members only. Yo, they playing Uno? They playing Uno? They had a costume parade in elementary school. Right, elementary school. We're in middle school now, remember? You can still wear a costume, jeez. The only reason I'm trick-or-treating this year is for the candy. And I really don't want anyone knowing we're doing this, okay? Honestly, if you admit that you're going trick-or-treating for the candy to everyone, you'll actually seem cool. Wait, by the way, this is- wait, I just realized, if this is taking place in Halloween, why is this being uploaded at like around Christmas time? Yo, that's an awesome costume, actually. Come on. <laughs> Yo, Manny, Manny the pirate, the swashbuckler. Making sure we're not getting toilet paper this year. It takes too long to get that off. Nope, nope, it's not happening. Good thoughts, all positivity. But Manny honestly, I want to see that side of this movie. That Honestly, I feel like that'd be a little more interesting. You're not planning to take the shortcut through Snake Road, are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Yeah, there's no way. We're not doing that at all. There's no way. We're not going through Snake Road or anything. No way. Hi. Is that a cute little pirate ice cream? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, Manny knows how to work the system. I can't believe we never thought of bringing Manny before. This kid's a gold mine. Yeah. Yeah, so I get it. Like, he wanted to go cr trick-or-treating, but he wanted the candy. See, there's conflict. There's there's conflict here. Look, the conflict. Whirly Street? But that's like a mile from here. Not if we take a shortcut. Snake Road? Yeah, oh my god. Of course they're gonna take the Snake Road shortcut or whatever. It's called a shortcut. <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> Jeez, that always feels so long. That cut? Oh, that's weird. It like went from like a street to a haunted forest, which just felt very odd. Like those two settings don't seem to connect in my opinion. Do you think... The goat man is gonna get us. <laughs> the goat man? I'm sorry, what? Why, why did they not bring this up yet? I want to know more about this goat man immediately. Half man, half goat? It's not even physically possible, Rally. Actually, might be. You never know. <laughs> what? Huh? What? That worked? All right, we got a we got a chase scene, like, which I I mean, kind of interesting it, so far. We were worried sick about you two. Where Mom. were you boys? What happened to our audio? Gerard Gupta wants to be Toto, and Patty Farrell says Mrs. Burton already promised her Dorothy. Yo, is this is this gonna become a musical? Is this a musical? Is this becoming a musical? Rally! Oh. You okay? I feel so bad. I really didn't mean to flip you. Now I'll never be the plot part of Romeo. But do you know what this means? Yeah. I have to put a plastic bag over my arm in the shower for a whole month. No, you can utilize this. You'll get more attention. A cast is like the greatest thing that can happen to a kid. It is? Yes, Rally. Everyone's gonna want to sign it. That's true. Yeah, I literally just said that. It's just attention. We gotta get our story straight or they're gonna find out about the rumble trike. Did you say rumble trike? I mean, it doesn't really make much sense because they, there was like AirPods and all that. Because the whole like phone thing is, is like a different time frame. It's like it can't really choose what time frame it wants. But I mean, hey, I guess it's going based off the book and then making like minor changes. Like I'm betting the whole like phone thing was a part of the actual plot and they couldn't remove it. So I don't know. I didn't read the books. I'm a fake fan. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm not even really a fan. I just know about. Diary of Wimpy Kid? I can't tell you how to make things right. That part is up to you. And I'm betting he's going to do it wrong. Because to be honest, I feel like his character is not that great. Honestly, he's really not likable in this. Really. He really is not. But here's the thing. Rally's dad has never really liked me. Oh, thanks for the exposition. So, I decided the right thing to do was to just let things be. Because telling the truth would make things worse for everybody. But that's gonna make things even more worse. That cast! In fact, it worked even better than I thought it would. He's now cool. Because he always was cool. Not because the cast, he always was cool. Well, at least for Rally, it wasn't a problem. Here comes the airplane. <laughs> Rally's become a pimp now. <laughs> 
Dude, rally the pip. <sighs> yeah, Ugh, no big deal. It's just an affection caused by a splinter that was left untrue. Oh my god, so he's like faking the cast. Oh my god, yeah, no. As I said before, this literally makes his character not that likable. His character actually had a chance to be more likable, but now it's just like... Not that it's just become worse, honestly. So I meant I need to find something of my own. And just like that, I did. Yo, draw you. D just redraw the entirety of this world. Imagine. Imagine this is where this film gets insanely meta, where he redraws the entirety of the film. And then it gets to the- like, it replays the film from beginning to this point here, and it's just an endless loop. Honestly, I would much rather prefer that. Well, actually, probably not, because honestly, this movie is very boring so far. It's just bland, honestly. And I know it's a kid's movie, but really, it just adds nothing to the table so far. I think it'd be funnier if he said, Zooey Mama. I agree. I agree. It'd be funnier if he said Zooey Mama. 100%. And the new cartoonist is Greg Heffler. Yes. Yes. Oh, yo. He's actually the cartoonist of the, the, the paper. That That's awesome. They changed it? Teacher, thanks for ruining my day. <sighs> okay. Well, I mean, at least he's getting what he deserved, honestly. I really don't like his character in this movie. One week after I quit, Mr. Humphreys chose someone to replace me, and you'll never believe who we picked. Zooey Mama! Honestly, Rally's getting the attention he deserves, honestly. He's such a good guy. You said you didn't want to do it anymore. Well, couldn't you come up with something original for once, Rally? God! Oh my god. It's... It's just so... Annoying how he's just. Oh my god. Riley's been hanging out with this kid, Shirag, every day. I know the only reason he's doing it is to try and make me jealous. No? That's an assumption. It's probably because he likes the kid. Are they trying to make his character bad? Like, I don't understand. I really don't understand. See, that's the thing. I haven't read the book, so I don't know if this is actually like the story. But if that is the case, then that I don't think that's a good thing. I mean, there is a chance that, like, the story doesn't really translate to movie that well. And, and that's the thing, like, I'm reviewing this as a movie, not as, like, a Diary of a Wimpy Kid fan. I'll just say, there are definitely other people who are more qualified to discuss, like, if they dislike the film, like, the problems with it. Hey! <laughs> Was that FNAF 4? Was that the FNAF 4, uh, like, clock sound from the game? I swear to God they re they used it from that game. I'll play- I'll play a comparison right now. Hey! <laughs> Blocked out big parts of that night. Hey, Gray. He blacked out. The kid literally got tortured. Honestly, I uh, feel he got the what he deserved again. To be honest, when you really think about it, they've just been torturing this character, but also making him like a bad, unlikable character. It's almost like they really just don't like the character and are torturing him. Well, look who it is. Our little friends from Halloween. Yo, these... These guys showed up again, so that way the movie could actually have, like, an antagonist. Hey guys, editor's note here. So, I wanted to add some context to the next couple scenes because you literally would not understand them without them. And, yeah, so basically what happens is, uh, Rally eats the cheese because the bullies make him, and then the bullies scatter, after, wait, where is it? Uh, no, hold on. Uh, after this dude, this dude comes out right here. This dude right here. After he comes out, uh, the bullies scatter. Like, as you see, they, wait, hold on. They, they scatter right here. And, and then what happens is, what happens is, then all of the kids think Rowley uh, has the cheese touch. But then, then uh, Greg takes the fall and then they all scatter. The, the main reason I want to add this context and the main reason why, you know, these bits aren't in the video, well, I guess they technically are now, is because, like, th this is my face. 
Th this is literally my face, like majority of the clips, uh, majority of the se these scenes, because literally uh, these scenes kind of just bored me and you know the whole film basically bored me but uh, yeah th with that context uh yeah let let's continue the video having the cheese such hasn't been as bad as i thought <laughs> <laughs> yeah wait hold on why didn't they just get the cheese sucks from the immediately he could just control the school wait so he actually did something good and got something out of it how are you this bad oh Best of three. Well, that that was only 50 minutes, like only 50 minutes. And I gotta say, that was the longest 50 minutes I have probably ever experienced, honestly. Like, I mean, I don't think this movie is... Well, actually, I kind of do. Like, I feel like I don't dislike this as much... Like, I feel like if I were a Diary of a Wimpy Kid fan, I would have hated this a lot more. But as just a person who watched this as a film, to review it as a film and not to review it as a Diary of a Wimpy Kid fan, yeah, no, it's it's bad. It is definitely bad, I think. I think it's bad. I, I do think the animation is definitely well made. And as I said before... Like, I don't think the animation, like, the art style translated well to 3D, but after a while, it does get, you do get used to it, and it isn't bad, but, like, as for the plot, it, most of it just feels like filler, and a lot of the scenes just feel like, oh, here's a scene of Greg Heffley being a bad character, and then we're torturing Greg Heffley. That is literally the movie. That's literally what it feels like. Apart from, like, the beginning and end, where it's like, oh, explaining who the characters are. And then the end, where it's like, oh, everything gets resolved. But yeah, this really feels like it was, like, filler. Honestly, it really does. Most of it just felt boring to me, and I really just did not care, honestly. As I said multiple times through this, I really did not like the character of Greg Heffley. Honestly, I thought... I thought he was such an unlikable character, and I genuinely, like, at first, I thought this movie was just, like, okay. Well, at first, I, I thought this movie was just fine. And, like, the beginning was fine. The beginning was totally fine, because it just seemed like they were, you know, exposition, building up the characters, and doing all that. But then as the film went on, it just really felt like there was really no content. And they just kind of filled it with a ton of random scenes that didn't really amount to much. Like, really, the only things that I'd say amount to much are really the Halloween scene, because it introduces, like, the teenagers. And then when the teenagers come back, and then it, they eat the cheat, like, you know, all that stuff, like, that stuff. Honestly, I really, I really just did not care. It really just felt like they didn't have much to add. Honestly, it really doesn't. Like, they couldn't even get this film over an hour. And honestly, I think they struggled to get this movie over 40 minutes, which I think is actually, like, the shortest a movie can be. Like, I think a movie has to be at least 40 minutes to be a movie. And I know, because I know there are movies that are literally, like, about 40 minutes uh, and are more filler than this movie. Because I feel like this movie did have some substance to it, but a lot of it does feel like filler. And genuinely it as i said the main character the one you're supposed to root for greg heffley is really unlikable and it's honestly kind of odd how this film goes about it because it really seems like it wants to make greg heffley a bad character just to torture him like it really seems like that honestly and i don't get what this film is doing really i i don't get it honestly this was painful. This really was painful, honestly. I really don't have much good to say about this film. I honestly think it was bad. I really think it was bad. I mean, for kids, I guess, yeah, they could they could enjoy it. Like, it, it's something to pass the time. But, like, as to watch it as, like, a movie, it, it's so boring, honestly. Like, don't even bother, really. Just, I, I, w I honestly, just don't bother. It is, it's so boring. It really is boring. And, oh my god. And really, that's all I have to say. 
But yeah, if you've seen this movie, what are your thoughts on it? I'll leave that down in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.